the compute. Uh, so uh, I think this topic was uh, no, counting to find probabilities. So it's got these two things in it. So we got this example here. Two hospitals send doctors uh, to a medical conference. One hospital sends 20 doctors. The second hospital sends 30 doctors. So before I go on, um, I mean, I need to read all the other details. But I'm going to just jot down, I guess, that N1 equals, first hospital, hospital sends 20, and N sub 2 equals 30. Okay, because N is like the total number that we can choose from. Uh, so only 15 doctors will be given the chance to make presentations. So we got 50 total doctors, only 15 are going. What is the probability that exactly eight of the doctors chosen to make presentations will be from the first hospital, and exactly seven of the doctors chosen to make presentations will be from the second hospital? So we got to find out the number of ways we could pick eight doctors from the first hospital. And then multiply to the number of different ways that we can make doctor uh, that we could pick uh, seven doctors from the second hospital, and we multiply them because, you know, you could pair up Joe with Jessica, or you could, uh, you know, Joe from the first hospital, Jessica from the second hospital, or Joe from the first hospital and Betsy from the second hospital. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can make those combinations. So the first thing we need to do is twenty choose, what do we say, eight doctors from the first hospital. There's 20 doctors in the first hospital. We're choosing eight of them. And we're going multi to multiply that by uh, the second hospital has 30, and we want seven uh, from the second hospital. So we're going to, from the 30 in the second hospital, we're going to choose seven. And then you want to divide that by the total number of possible ways of choosing those 15 doctors. Okay, That means you're not picking eight from the first, seven from the second. Uh, Seven from the second, you could be, or you could be doing nine from the first, six from the second, or ten from the first, five from the second. So what you want <clears throat> is you've got fifty doctors, and you want to find out how many different ways you can choose fifteen of them. Okay, because the probability is found by uh, the amount you're interested in, which is eight from the first, seven from the second, divided by the total. And there's fifty choose fifteen different ways of doing the total. So there's twenty choose eight. There's 30 choose 7, and then we got 15 choose, uh, sorry, 50 choose 15. All right, let's see what else we can work on here. Okay, so now we have to express the answer as a percent. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit of uh, math to do. But so with this 20 choose 8 business, that's 20 factorial over 8 factorial, 20 minus 8 factorial. Some of this is going to be, oops, some of this is going to be too big for a computer. So I just rewrote this. This is 30 factorial over 7 factorial, and it's 30 minus 7 factorial. And then it's all divided by, man, this is brutal, 15 factorial, and then 50 minus 15. If you're not sure where I'm getting this from, you just look up the combination formula. <clears throat> okay, it's combination, combination, combination. Oh. I'm trying to see what I can simplify here. Well, what we can do. Oh, I need more room. Ah. No, wait. I don't want to lose that. Let's copy what we have here. Hard doing it on a computer. Hopefully you've got a uh, pen and paper with you. Hard to do it on a computer. Okay. So what we can do is you, if you divide a fraction, that's the same thing as flipping and multiplying a fraction, right? So I can flip this fraction and multiply it to everything up top. So I've got 20 factorial times a 30 factorial. And then I'm going to flip and multiply. So when I, instead of dividing this fraction, I'm multiplying by the stuff on bottom. I get 15 factorial, and then this is 50 minus 15 makes 35 factorial. And so we got 8 factorial on bottom, we've got 12 factorial on bottom, we've got 7 factorial on bottom from here, we've got 30 minus 7 that makes 23 factorial, and then the final part, uh, we have a 50 factorial. Okay, and I probably should just draw that out. Look, this is the same thing as doing this times 15 factorial, 50 minus 15 factorial, 
because when you divide a fraction, it's the same as flipping and multiplying the fraction, right? So I flipped this fraction and multiplied it. That's where that came from. And then the, to, since this probably isn't going to work in your calculator, you just want to try to see what you can simplify. Uh, let's see. 50 factorial won't cross out with anything up here, but I bet we can get rid of the next highest, the 23 factorial. You can take that 30, this 30 factorial, let me color code it here. That's 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 factorial, right? Now make these two cross cancel with each other. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And the next highest is 12. Uh, that one's closest to 15, so let's rewrite this 15 as 15 times 14 times 13, just expanding the factorial, right? So that's what I just underlined here in red is 15 factorial. And then what else can we do? I'll make the 12 cancel out. We want to make that 8 cancel out. I don't know, maybe a computer can do this online. This is just a lot of writing. This is 20 factorial times, oh, sorry, 20 factorial is 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15, probably know where I'm going with it, times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial. And then we haven't simplified this, so it's still times 35 factorial. So it'll at least make things easier for us in the calculator. We still got 8 factorial. I haven't done anything with that. 12 factorial, 7 factorial, 23 factorial, 50 factorial. So the 23 factorial cancels. The 12 factorial cancels. Uh, oh, shoot. Did I make this one go to 12? Oh, this one should have gone to 8 because of the 12 already canceled. So... Man, let's see if we can get a calculator to do this. That will work. It'll just take forever. So. Uh, Excel works great for this, too. You just type in equals combin. Uh, and if I'm trying to do something quickly. I try to just use an online calculator. So we had a few up here, right? We had... Uh, let's go back to the original problem. Let's do 20 choose 8 here. That one we can do. Okay, 20 choose 8. Now the police found the Oops, sorry. Uh, 20 choose 8 gives us 125970. 30 choose 7. Oh, yeah, there we go. 30 choose 7 gives us. Two zero three five eight zero zero, and then fifty choose fifteen. That's two two five zero eight two nine five seven five one two zero. Huge number. Okay, so now we can multiply the top. One two five nine seven zero times two zero three five eight zero zero. That's what the top is, and divide that by the bottom. Two two five zero eight two nine five seven five one two zero. Wish they could have given a smaller number. So we got point one one three nine, and then as a percentage, we just have to move the decimal place two places to the right, right? Round to two decimal places. So this is. 11.39% rounded. Man, I hope I didn't miss anything. Phew. Okay. Let's see if we can get another problem in here. Okay. So a group of doctors studying the effect of a certain nicotine gum. Uh, 24 smokers are participating in the study, and doctors need to make two groups of 12. Those who receive nicotine gum and those who receive the placebo gum. So how many different ways can the doctors make the two groups of 12? So the question, if it's a permutation or combination, you should be thinking, does the order matter? Right? So it's a permutation problem if the order matters. So we would never select this option. Permutations are when the order matters. Okay? 
combination problems are when the order does that formula we just use is a combination formula we use that when the order does not matter okay um to solve this problem we will group certain smokers so order will not matter that's true the first smoker doesn't get anything different than the last smoker put in a group okay so it's just those two order doesn't matter for this grouping okay and then they want us to make the calculation Calculate the number of ways that 12 smokers have been chosen for 24. So n is 24. 12 is the number of being chosen. And so to do this by hand, you do 24 factorial over 12 factorial, 24 minus 12 factorial. And you, oops, that factorial is in the wrong spot. So you could expand this to make the 12 cancel out. But online calculators are fine too. More important question is why we use the formula, right? We have technology to help us do a lot of things these days. So, okay, let's see what else we got. 